Judicial Service Commission is holding those much-anticipated interviews for the new Chief Justice. One of the candidates is Judge Mbuiseli Matlanga, who joined the Constitutional Court in 2013, and he's first up now in terms of the interview process. Joining us to take a look at his career is Newsroom Africa contributor Diane Hawker, who will be uh, tracking the week's worth of interviews set down for the 1st to the 4th of February. So, Diane, as we build up to that public Q&A session that uh, he will undergo this morning, what do we know about Judge Mbuiseli Matlanga? Good morning, uh, Michelle. So Judge Matlanga is uh, quite a, a young judge in terms of, uh, you know, judges' years. A lot of judges um, at that level are over 60. He's only 59 years old, um, and he joined the Constitutional Court, as you mentioned, in 2013. His career trajectory was quite interesting. He, he obviously studied um, law at, at various levels um, in, the, in, the, in the former Transkei, um, and he also actually went on to lecture law at uh, the University of of Trans Sky. Um, and then later on, he, he, he became a prosecutor working in the form of Trans Sky before uh, going on to become a judge in the Eastern Cape. Um, so um, he became an advocate actually after having practiced as a judge in the Eastern Cape, a bit, um, a, you know, a back to front there in terms of how many careers go. But if one considers that there weren't many black judges available during the apartheid era, there were some judges who were, who were actually appointed to the, uh, to the bench very young. Before before they had uh, practiced extensively. So he went back into private practice, and that's where uh, many South Africans might recall him from. Um, he was the lead prosecutor in the Marikana Commission while uh, working as an advocate, and he completed that work um, just before joining the Constitutional Court. Uh, quite extensive work um, to, to actually unpack what had happened at the Marikana Commission. You know, I remember watching those hearings almost on a daily basis and hearing that grueling testimony about um, you know, th what took place before, uh, during and after that ma massacre. So that is probably one of his major career milestones. Um, but also joining the Constitutional Court, he has delivered um, some important judgments. One of the judgments actually will, will kind of give, gives instruction to this very body that will be looking at his career today. Um, there's a judgment that he did relating to the work of the Judicial Service Commission indicating that the deliberations that they have when deciding on candidates must be included in the record that they actually submit um, to the president. And part of the reason for this is actually because sometimes obviously we know these decisions do get challenged at a later to stage um, and the deliberations have in the past actually come into question, Michelle. It's very interesting that you talk about his previous judgments, his work um, on the Marikana massacre. For him and for the other candidates as well, Diane, this is no doubt going to form an important part of the line of questioning, uh, particularly the line of legal questioning insofar as previous work, previous judgments is concerned. Yes, absolutely, Michelle. Um, you know, with uh, the, the Chief Justice position, um, it's, it's, it's kind of twofold in that there will definitely be quite a focus on previous work done, but there's also likely to be a focus on administrative ability because of the, 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 the kind of job that she, the, being the Chief Justice is. Um, the Chief Justice is the head of not only the Constitutional Court, so they must have a strong understanding of the South African uh, legal framework, but also as the head of the Office of the Chief justice. They will have to have uh, an, a good administrative understanding. And that's where I think there'll be a number of questions for Judge Matlanga, considering that he hasn't had a leadership position at the court as yet, unlike uh, Justice Meyer, for example, who is the head of the Supreme Court of Appeal, or even uh, Justice uh, Judge Dantan Mlambo, who is the head of the, South of the High Court in Gauteng. Both of them have had extensive administrative uh, uh, ba background in managing those courts. So it will be interesting how many questions he gets on that aspect, as well as how he's able to answer how he would run the office of the Chief Justice if he were uh, to be the successful candidate. So there's administrative background questioning. There'll no doubt be questioning around uh, previous judgments, so legal um, uh, line of questioning as well. And there will no doubt also be questions around transformation of the judiciary, particularly because, as you, you told us earlier as well, uh, Diane, there is one woman judge that's been shortlisted 
that, that's among the, these four candidates being inter interviewed for the top job in the judiciary. Yes, absolutely. The transformation of the judiciary has been uh, sort of a constant issue um, that the Judicial Service Commission has been looking at. Um, and it often comes up um, on, a, on a perspective of, of the race of judges, but also when it comes to gender. You know, South Africa has not had um, a, 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 a chief justice who is a woman. Um, I think the most senior woman judge at this point is Justice Meyer, who is expected to be interviewed tomorrow. Um, so there are likely also to be questions about why um, a, a male judge should be chosen over quite a senior female judge who has work, who has experience um, as a jurist as well as experience um, as, a, as, a, as a court administrator. I think one of the other issues that's also likely to come up, uh, which we touched on yesterday, is how much time the likely candidate could spend on the, on, as the Chief Justice. Uh, judge Madlanga has been at the Constitutional Court already for several years and there's a 12-year term limit. So the question would be, um, would it it makes sense to have someone uh, take up that uh, uh, top job um, only to serve for two and a half years or so in that top position or, or for a very short period. Um, that would also likely be a consideration when it comes to Acting Chief Justice Raymond Zondo who will be interviewed on Friday.